back at it again with another video. Not much time I have for this one though, sadly. Because my recording limit for this one is 9 minutes and 11 seconds. For this one, I'm going to be doing Sultan Sanctuary. Probably none of my viewers know about it. And uh, it's quite the interesting game. So I'm just going to make this a rogue file. Because that's one of the two classes I haven't played yet. Hmm. Years. Played mage, played paladin, played... Oh, thief, I haven't. And there's chef, which you're an actual chef. But I'm going with thief. Origin doesn't matter. Color eye doesn't matter. Uh, hair color and hair type doesn't matter. It's all for vanity. But you probably already got that down. So, uh... We'll just make it shag. I can tell you right now, you're not really going to be seeing the hairstyle at all, nor the whiskers, which are just beards. You won't be seeing them at all, but I'm just making them because why not? I always go with Ascaria, so I'm just going to change the race. Coast Rock. It's an actual place in the game that you go to. Amber Idol is one of the most important items you could get. Because that is used as an alchemist to be able to change your weapons and shields and armor. But it's better off with weapons and shields because armor is just light armor. I know it's hard to see, so sometimes... I'm going to be standing behind what I call my makeshift stand for this one. Oh, hang on. And having to move around the camera, or my phone, I should say. And if I beat the Unspeakable Deep for this one, it's an accomplishment. Because it's my second time beating the Unspeakable Deep. deep. You can just avoid all those guys. This is the Unspeakable Deep. The first boss who is near impossible. Dead! Oh, wait. Whoop. Very hard. Dead. Because that's my death right there. Already three minutes in, wow. Oh, and the best part about the story is you don't even find the princess you're searching for. Uh, your religion doesn't really matter, but if you're with the Order of the Betrayer, like, I had to find out the hard way, which, uh, you get from getting a, uh, hang on, bloody writ after desecrating a sanctuary unsuccessfully, and you give it to a person that's in some sort of cave, it's, like, really late in the game, but when you start New Game Plus... And if you've done work for the leaders, then you know that every time you enter a sanctuary that isn't of the Order of the Betrayer, you will have to expunge it. So, yeah. It's the worst. I just chose Mountain Smiths, because why not? I'm going to be changing to the Stone Roots, because that's what I did with my Hunter, and Hunters are lightweight classes, kind of like the rogues and the clerics and mages. And it's useful to be a stone roots because they, they kind of have dexterity builds. So, yeah. The three is for your just, just trying to be balanced players. The iron ones is for heavy weapon users. And the vera is for mages and clerics and all that. Uh, there's also three other separate, uh, religions you can join. The Order of Betrayer, the House of Splendor, which looks really weird, and finally the 
living at the link of fire and sky, I think. I was thinking of the the icon name, the living tome. Which I actually got on the mage character, and let me tell you, it's a challenge. It's also late in the game. Uh, the House of Splendor, not so much. It's like midway through the game. It's my favorite combo with the dagger. On the first boss, it's very useful that you have a shield. Like, trust me. I've beaten this game with two warrior characters, and blocking is a major part of living through that fight. Like, if you're a dexterity build, you can still survive, it'll just be a tough fight. Also, only one class will start at level 1, and that is the Popper. Which is kinda like the chef, he is just a no one, but, uh... He starts with very low level items, like... Uh, actually, I think the chef starts with even lower items. A frying pan and a potato. He also has a low armor set, but the popper is, like, way better. It has... The class, I mean, has an axe, the wooden target, like my... like the rogue. And, a uh, pitchfork. It also has... some cotton clothes... and... pants, as well as... leather gloves. Which isn't really a part of the set, it's just there. If I go over the limit, I can't really upload this, which is why I'm going to have to stop it at 9 minutes 11 seconds, or under. So I'm just going to end this video at the sanctuary. That trick right there is the long jump. It's where you do the dodge and jump button at the same time, so there's one of the secondary, not really main uses for jumping, but yeah, there you go. That's the end of this video.